uh, this is uh, what our my department believes in. Uh, I believe that uh, Tom, can you next slide? I believe that uh, the most enjoyable human activity is to think, and I think therefore I am. These are the cards viewers that we strongly believe believe in. Um, we believe that all students are capable of and benefit from studying high-level math courses. And uh, we believe that mathematics best learned as structured course of consecutive concepts. And we believe that students should have the freedom to make mistakes, and they should make mistakes. <laughs> uh, we believe in second chances and collaboration. Uh, we believe that technology should open horizons and give students deeper insight, not just being a tool. And we strongly believe that math is fun. <laughs> As you can probably see on my small picture <laughs> of Asher. By the way, there is a great Asher's um, exhibition in, uh, MFA, at MFA, so I strongly recommend you to go there if you didn't, uh, if you wasn't there. Uh, so, uh, in addition to that, uh, we uh, usually hear that math is um, a great tool for sciences, and once again, not only for sciences, for art as well, but uh, we strongly believe that math is a great tool to develop everybody's mind. And once again, this is what we're trying to do here at AMSA. Uh, what AMSA gives to students, um, knowledge, skills, work habits, um, it, I believe we uh, develop uh, their ability to think independently and their ability to work collaboratively and most importantly, appreciation of beauty of mathematics. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, we have strong curriculum and uh, like majority of our students introduced to ideas of calculus during uh, high school and we believe that this is an important part of our curricula curriculum because calculus explains um, the world around us, the nature around us. So um, introducing to at least to some ideas of it, uh, it is very important part of students understanding or, and people, underst people understanding of nature. Uh, we believe in flexibility in lesson structure. Uh, we kind of don't believe in students sitting uh, at their chairs and uh, teachers lecturing the students. For example, in the picture there, you see into the calculus class, they are actually imply, uh, applying calculus to uh, figuring out um, how uh, function of cost and revenue works. So it's not business class, it is intro to calculus class. Um, we have a variety of advanced courses, um, AP calculus, linear algebra, uh, with differential equations, multivariable calculus, vector calculus, new course 3D geometry. Uh, we just, it is a pilot course this year. We hope that we will continue um, to be able, uh, we will be able to uh, give this course in the future. We have financial literacy and statistics courses. Uh, we believe in uh, giving school-wide school math competitions. All our students, all our low school students participate in first, um, uh, first uh, step of math counts uh, competition and all uh, our um, law school students participate particip participate at um, in AMC 8 and all our upper uh, school students participate in AMC 10 and AMC 12. We believe that we need to um, introduce uh, all students to non-standard problems that these competition, competitions um, brings. And um, we, we heard sometimes, we, uh, we hear uh, words, okay, maybe not everybody needs to participate, but 
uh, like I already said, we strongly believe that everybody should be introduced to this uh, different math. Uh, we have very strong uh, low school and upper school math teams. I will talk about that later. Uh, we uh, have uh, we try to uh, be involved in many interdisciplinary projects, uh, mostly with science, obviously. This year we have uh, the first time we have the course, that interdisciplinary course uh, together with science de sci uh, computer science with science department. Mm -hmm. And uh, we already uh, have this uh, course planned for next year as well. We want to introduce uh, students. We, we strongly believe that internships uh, can bring uh, a lot to our students. Uh, this year we have students um, kind of in school internship. Uh, we have upper school uh, students, um, assistant teachers in lower school. Uh, but we are looking uh, for out of school internships. As you know, it's not really easy because not uh, all or everybody, you know, are open to higher high school students. But we try to do that. So math department courses. Uh, you probably have seen this uh, table before. Uh, if somebody wants a hard copy, I have hard copies. Uh, and uh, I found that I didn't include uh, middle school uh, courses in this slide. And I'm sorry, it's not because middle school is not important. Actually, middle school is um, the uh, Funda fundamental uh, thing for our success. In sixth grade, we I definitely will add it right to uploading it. Uh, so uh, in sixth grade, uh, we uh, have pre-algebra pre course, and we actually have uh, our, we wrote our own book uh, for sixth grade. Um, in seventh grade, we have, uh, we the students algebra one course and geometry course and in eighth grade students uh, for sixth and seventh grade majority of levels uh, studying the same thing and in eighth grade uh, some of our advanced students begin uh, to uh, learn algebra two and our majority of other students uh, same thing algebra one and geometry continuing with algebra one and geometry courses so in uh, grade nine, algebra two and geometry, and in the upper uh, level, uh, we introduce ideas of trigonometry, actually not only ideas, but um, some trigonometry study. Uh, grade 10, as you can see, there are different in um, levels. Our uh, upper level students are beginning to study calculus in the middle of the year. Uh, the students who need more time, uh, they study Algebra 2 and um, in 11th grade they continue with Algebra 3, which is kind of continuation of Algebra 2, the courses which is between Algebra 2 and Precalculus. Um, there is a lot of uh, diagonal movement. Uh, some students beginning with kind of struggling group and then at the end, in 11th grade, 12th grade, they end in the uh, right corner. And uh, when I teach BC calculus, I uh, usually have um, one or two students who actually began our study in uh, Tamsa, in the, you know, with the most struggling group. And this is what gives me a lot of joy. And usually they are one of the best students, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> so uh, these levels are not uh, written in stone. Uh, can you? Uh, so a little bit more about geometry, because this would differ answer from uh, many schools, that we are teaching geometry in parallel to algebra, and that grade nine, all levels taking geometry every other day, grade 10, all levels except advanced level, taking geometry every other day, and 3D geometry elective courses available to advanced students, and in grade 11 and 12, uh, 3D geometry elective course available to honors advanced students, and in addition to that, 
uh, to those who recommended by their teachers. Uh, a little bit more of what our curriculum, what is the major points of our curriculum. Uh, like already, I already said, we uh, those who need to study Algebra 2 for two or more years can do that. And uh, as a result, um, even our struggling students um, building strong algebraic skills, um, students st studying uh, ideas of geometry in parallel to algebra, which gives uh, additional opportunities to talk about some math concepts. Um, we give students uh, algebraic trigonometry skills early, early on and they can use it uh, when they are studying advanced topics in physics, in physics and chemistry. Um, we, because um, college acceptance is one of our goals, uh, we kind of uh, giving them, we assisting students in the application process so uh, students can take SIT 2 exams in 10th or 11th grade, majority of students can do that and advanced students taking AP Calculus exam after 11th grade, so they are ready to show the results uh, in college applications. And we give students knowledge of calculus, including multivariable calculus and linear algebra, before or in parallel uh, of studying advanced physics, chemistry, and statistics courses. Once again, um, no, uh, this knowledge can give them deeper understanding um, of uh, this concept. So we, <coughs> we use uh, technology at AMSA. Uh, we would like to use it more. <laughs> I will talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> but uh, we have math cards with laptops uh, dedicated to our math department and uh, math cards with Chromebooks. And we're using uh, Desmos, the programs, Desmos, yes, Sketchpad, Mathematica for <coughs> introducing concepts, playing with concepts. Uh, IXL is the tool, uh, more tool more for training, so we use it when we need it, preparing for exams, etc. So here you see students playing with functions on the right and st uh, multivariable students uh, creating some uh, visualization of 3D objects. Um, we do not, I do not bring uh, a lot of numbers here today, but I want to show you some numbers that we are really proud of. We're really proud that our AP participation is really high. So you see we have like um, 80 to 100 students who are taking our AP courses. You see that for next year, we have a lot of students <laughs> assigning for AP statistics. It is the first time we have this increase of no, increased number of students. We'll see how it will go. <laughs> do, do you know what's driving that? Say it again. Do you know what is driving that uh, dramatic I increase? I don't know yet. So <laughs> I will probably have more answers maybe next year. <laughs> we'll see. I'm happy to see it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no actually. Complaint. Yeah, it is, it, is, it is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it is interesting dynamic. Uh, we have uh, very strong math teams and clubs, math clubs here. Uh, so here you see our low school math team. And um, I will talk about upper school math team a little bit later. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of boys in math team. And this is uh, what we usually see. Um, and we want to invite more girls into my team. So this year, we uh, this is the first year when we run in, in law school when we run um, girls math club, and it goes really well. So you can see the other the other uh, picture here is of math girl clubs. Usually, it is actually m m more girls. This picture was taken uh, in one of the at one of the last. Um, uh, sessions, so we're really proud of that. So this is our um, yeah. Actually, can you go to the previous one? Thank you. So um, uh, math, law school math team um, 
we cannot invite everybody who would like to participate. We uh, usually in September we run first um, first um, step of math counts uh, as an exam, and uh, we invite top 25, 30 students to our low school math team. Can you go further? For the upper uh, school math team, we are really proud that we uh, can work with whoever wants to be the part of math team. Here you see uh, our varsity team, um, in our freshman team, and all of our achievements on the right. <laughs> So we participate in a lot of competitions. I'll talk about that uh, a little bit later. Uh, so last year we were uh, first in New England small school uh, champ champion, 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 championship, right? So um, and our first uh, and our first team is uh, the first uh, for uh, Wacomal League for our, um, uh, you know. For our local league um, <coughs> for the last three or four years. So we are pretty successful here. Can you go for that, please? Thank you. These are <laughs> my competitions uh, that our upper school math team participate in. And can we go to the next slide? And this is our com the competition that our lower school uh, math um, team participate. And I know that many <coughs> of you, and actually many people think, okay, so math team is for like uh, for 20, 30, 40, 50 students, uh, and we have like uh, 1,000 here. So uh, I uh, believe that uh, our the member of math team actually brings a lot to AMSA, and this is one of the examples. As you can see, uh, one of these Icon uh, shows uh, AMSA Moms Pi Day uh, tournament, and there is a uh, story behind it. Our upper school math team created the tournament for our middle school students and ran it for uh, several years. And uh, after that, uh, can we go to the next slide, please? We uh, decided that we will have, uh, we will spread some ideas. So we decided to have uh, this tournament not inside our school, but we we uh, created the tournament together with Mass Academy. And uh, this year, actually, 20 teams from uh, all over Massachusetts participated in this uh, tournament. It w it is created <coughs> completely by students. So students own it, students run it, students uh, write um, problems for this uh, tournament. So, uh, but uh, as a result of us moving our, this was actually Pi Day tournament. As a result of us moving Pi Day tournament outside of AMSA, uh, we, our law school students <laughs> didn't have uh, now kind of don't have Pi Day tournament, so we're bringing to them math team, our upper school math team bringing to them Gauss Day tournament, <laughs> which will happen uh, coming Monday. So I will give you several minutes to read what our graduates say, because we strongly believe that one of our, our goals is to prepare students uh, to do well in college and beyond college. So if you can read what our graduates say about AMSA and about mass department. Can I take a picture of that? Absolutely. I believe it is pretty, <laughs> pretty powerful testimonials. Can I put it on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a public meeting, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> right and what is important, not yet, not yet. <laughs> and what is important is uh, students who wrote these uh, testimonies, they are, uh, they've been here in different levels, some of them advanced, some of them are not. And they uh, are writing that to different teachers. Some of the teachers are upper school teachers, and some of the teachers are lower school teachers. Can you, Tom, can you go to the next slide? Yes, so. Mm. 
challenges um, our future challenges current challenges and some of our future ideas um, right now when the process of adjusting our curriculum to new standards we um, never uh, align our law school just I want you to know that, that we, uh, we never align our law school curriculum uh, exactly with Massachusetts standards because we have slightly different sequence of concepts that we study and we strongly believe in this um, sequence. Uh, so uh, when you uh, probably see our MCAS results for 6, 7 and 8, they are not as great as our MCAS result for 10th grade, which is usually, you know, very solid. Um, right now our curriculum is uh, a little bit even less in sync with uh, what new standards bring. And you know that there was a lot of movement which exam to give. Uh, it was park exam, then it was MCAS 2 exam, and et cetera, et cetera. So right now we are looking at maybe aligning our curriculum a little bit more with standards, but while we are doing that, uh, just bear with us. You might see not so great result in our 6, 7, and 8th grade, maybe for a year or two, but be sure we will be there. Uh, so we are looking uh, for new textbooks um, in support of our um, redesigned curriculum. Our books, actually our books are pretty outdated. So I really hope that um, during some, you know, nearest future, we will see some textbooks that we can happily buy. Right now, that's not the case, but uh, I really hope, uh, we're really looking for new textbooks. Uh, we, uh, we are losing some, uh, some of our best students to Mass Academy, and this is really disappointing to us. Um, I believe that I believe that uh, our administration and our department already began to talk to students and to analyze our programs because we uh, invest so much in our students. We want them to stay at arms. <laughs> uh, which brings me to the next thing that I hope to have some uh, support uh, from uh, from the board. Because uh, partially uh, our best students are leaving because uh, other schools, not only Mass Academy, but other schools um, have better acceptance for you know, higher colleges, higher level colleges. So I believe that we need to uh, seek uh, some connections, some better connections to the best universities and advertise our school more uh, widely because sometimes uh, we had some instances when colleges just told us we have no idea what your school is even we're participating in all these competitions we're kind of uh, present in uh, Boston community but still we need to do more advertising And we are going to London this year. So this is our first um, trip, uh, math department, first math department trip. We are doing it together with science department. We are happy to introduce students to math and science history around the globe. And we already began to plan our next trip for next year together with uh, science department. And that's it for today. Thank you so much. Yeah. Do we have an increasing number of people, students leaving from Mass Academy? You said we were losing. Uh, Is we, it don't, more? we do not have increasing number. For example, our uh, I believe the, the highest number of students leaving from Mass Academy was from our Alpha class. Okay. So I cannot say that we have increasing. We have pretty steady uh, number of students 
living for my academy. I would say that. Okay. And unfortunately, they are all best. <laughs> Okay. They 13 applied. 13? And they're getting acceptance since May 1st, and it won't be any more than four up to six. Okay. Question about the universities. Is there a list of ideal targets that we should do more with? We definitely can create the list, but I believe everybody knows the list. <laughs> I can give you the list. <laughs> so is it like local, is it LUPI? And like it's course. the top 10 math schools. In Massachusetts or In the national? US. Yeah. All right, in the US. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because uh, we, we do have... I think I know them in order. Yeah, we do, <laughs> <laughs> we do have uh, students who accepted there, but we believe it is disproportional to uh, the talent of right. our students. Right. So... Well, so we want to recruit alumni from those schools to the board. Yes. Yeah, I, I think that's a piece of it. I think another piece is just like we're thinking about like having more investment in development and having somebody mm -hmm. focused in that area. What a lot of schools do is they have folks dedicated to reaching out to yeah. admissions departments and having established relationships with those schools so they really understand the talent. And, and uh, This is exactly what we're looking yeah. for. Other questions? I have a question. Um, in terms of the um, textbooks, is it that you're not sure which textbooks you need or that it, it's not um, in the budget? Uh, no, right now we uh, it's not the problem of the budget, though when we will find it, it will be the problem. Right, the right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't exist. It, yeah, it, right now it doesn't exist. Yeah, so okay. I, our ideal books, they, are, they do not exist, but I hope they will appear during next two years because it, it is logical because we have completely new, not completely, I wouldn't say completely, but pretty new uh, core standards in Massachusetts and we have uh, kind of, once again, not completely, but new exams. So, uh, and some ideas behind the uh, core standards are very different from uh, current books. So I'm really looking forward to seeing new books with completely different approach. But it, it is not there yet. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Are online books an option? Definitely, we look at everything. Okay. So definitely. And uh, you know, we we actually looking. Uh, towards the new book that we will uh, have both, uh, you know, textbook and electronic book. Yeah. But, yeah, everything is an option. So, um, diff different question. Um, so if, like, say, Bill Gates or Google, yeah. someone gave us a million dollars to invest in the math program, what would you do? I need to think about it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> jump for joy. <laughs> Yeah, probably, uh, probably new technology because we have kind of, uh, we do not have um, everything that we want to, but it is less than $1 million, so I re <laughs> really need to think about it. <laughs> if, if I could just also add that uh, Luba's been here for 13 years. She, she was here when the uh, AMSA opened its doors, uh, and our math department has been a top-notch, one of the best, if not the best in the entire Commonwealth. Uh, and we have gone through so many changes at our school, ups and downs, but Luba has been a pillar of this community for 13 years. 13 years of hard work, commitment, and dedication to make this math program an absolutely amazing program. So you know, thank you, Luba. That, not only is she an inspiration to the students, having worked for her, she's an inspiration to the teachers. So I want to thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Just one comment, Luba. Um, it's more of a comment, not a question, uh, on maybe and hopefully what's behind the interest in statistics. And to validate those of you students listening to this, uh, from an industry perspective, that's definitely a big area of focus. The idea of the data scientist, mm -hmm. which is a concept that a lot of people that are already past their education are hard to grasp into getting into statistics and regressions and machine learning and predictive and all those kinds of 
thinking that's not uh, usually what you're thinking about in high school. So uh, it's great that students have that interest and they should know there's a job for them if they go that way. Yeah, we really hope that this is what drives this right. uh, you know, increase of knowledge. So hopefully that means they're getting it, yeah. which is great. <laughs> yeah. And I work for a software company, that's why I say that. <laughs> okay. That was great. Thank you very much, Linda. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.